yesterday on 23rd august 2023 at 604 pm people across india were very happy and had tears of joy this is because chandrayaan 3 soft landed on the moon this is a moment of national pride it landed at around 604 pm everyone was eagerly watching the landing live which was broadcasted by isro even isr news provided isr interpretation for the same many deaf people were watching the live as well deaf people were very happy to receive accessibility and understood about the space mission isr news has reposted many videos on our instagram page when you get free time do watch these people were watching the live on their phones in the office in schools etc accessibility in isl is very important deaf people deep down wanted to know and understand about chandrayaan 3 many thanked ish news for the accessibility and are very thankful for your support upon chandrayaan 3 soft landing people were jubilant the lander took photos of the landing during the descent and sent it to isro back on earth the lander is named vikram lander But do you know why it is named Vikram Lander? Okay, so this is a very exciting story. The Vikram Lander is named for Vikram Sarabhai, who is considered the father of the Indian space program. Vikram Sarabhai was a pioneer in encouraging space missions in India. The lander was named after Vikram to commemorate his memory. Once the lander soft landed on the moon, the Pragyan rover emerged from its belly. However, the rover did not come out immediately. It waited for a few hours. It waited till the moon dust settled down. Once the dust settled down, the process of rover Pragyan rolling out of the lander started. People were amazed when the first photo of the rover rolling out of Vikram was sent to Earth. The Pragyan rolled out of the lander and began its moonwalk on space. Just like the shoes leave an imprint on the ground, as the rover moved forward, it left the imprints of the ISRO logo and India's national symbol. You can see in this picture. This is not a real picture but as the rover moves forward this is how the imprints will be left on the moon just like a car tire leaving imprints the rover too will leave its mark what a proud moment for india now that the vikram lander has landed on the moon and the pragyan rover has emerged it will research and collect data One day on the moon is equivalent to fourteen Earth days. Days on the moon are longer as compared to the Earth. The lander and the rover have fourteen days for research work. So what will it do there? Will it be working twenty four seven? No, it will only work during the day. During the night, the lander and the rover will stop working. 
because the temperature at the south pole of the moon goes up to minus 238 degrees celsius machines do not work at such low temperatures since both are solar powered they have to collect all the data in the light of day in the night it will shut down how interesting in these 14 days what will the lander and the rover do the pragyan rover will move around and collect data even if the vikram lander will collect data and it will send it back to the earth whether or not the lander and rover can work for more days will be known later as the rover moves what will it do it will collect data pertaining to the lunar surface atmosphere water ice earthquakes etc the lander too will collect data about the temperature the environment and all of this will be sent back to the earth how exciting this will be done in the next 14 days it is premature to say how much distance the rover recovers it depends on the obstacles on the path so it will be known only after when the time comes how fascinating chandrayaan 3 was launched into space on 14 july 2023 Do you think it directly went to the moon? No, I saw a very interesting video. Once the space vehicle was launched, multiple parts begin separating from its body. In the end, the rocket then starts orbiting around the earth. Slowly and steadily, it shifts its trajectory. It then shifts into the moon's orbit and begins orbiting around the moon and gets closer and closer to the lunar surface. The Vikram lander then separates from the propulsion module. The propulsion module continues to orbit the moon while the lander descends to the surface and the rover emerges from its belly. The lander stays in place and collects data while the rover moves about. All the data is then sent back to the earth to ISRO. The propulsion module will orbit the moon and identify habitable exoplanets. It will also share the data with ISRO. It carries 150 kg of fuel which could give it a longest life span going into years. This truly is a jubilant occasion after the failures of the Chandrayaan missions India has finally succeeded even Prime Minister Modi was overjoyed. Surprising that 54 women scientists and engineers are directly involved with the Chandrayaan project. they are all very simple people skilled scientists from tamil nadu and south india worked on the project they have worked so hard and will continue to do so for the next 14 days let's wait for more updates truly this is an unforgettable experience and a matter of great happiness